Hi, and welcome back to this new video about YubiKey, where I'm going to show you how to use more effectively your second slot to secure a Kepas XC database with your YubiKey. Kepas XC is one of the most known password manager you can have. It's free, it runs completely locally. It just uses a local file that you can save in your cloud. It is very secure, it is open source, it is maintained, and it has a way to use the second slot of your YubiKey effectively to gain a maximum protection for your database, adding a two-factor authentication to your KeePass database with your YubiKey. To configure the second slot for using with Kepas, it's better to use the Ikiman XC uh, command line tool. As an example, I've simply typed the OTP info that tells me that the key is in a standard default state. The first slot is programmed and the second slot is empty. Now, the difference between the previous video is that now I'm going to use command line to set a different method of working for the second slot. Keypass XC require you to configure the second slot of your YubiKey with a standard algorithm for authentication that is called OATHHOTP. And it's an initiative for open authentication HMAC based one-time password. So basically it is a way to create a generator based on time and a secret key that is capable of generating a six digit or an eight digit pin that it's required to verify that you indeed have the password, the initial seed used to create the generator. So it is really, really similar to what you are using with your Yubico Authenticator, but it's slightly different and it's the one method used by Kepas to uh, secure the database with a YubiKey. To configure the second slot, this is the command. It's Ikiman, it's the standard command line utility for your YubiKey, followed by OTP, section area and chal resp that it's the command used to work with challenge response command and uh, dash t dash g2 means generate a new time at basic challenge response and the dash g is generate you the secret seed and two at the end means i'm going to program the second slot so i just press enter and it is asking me, are you really sure you want to configure the slot? I press yes, and that's done. Nothing complex, it's really easy. Now, if you type again the Ikiman OTP info, you can check and verify that your second slot is indeed programmed. And this is the time where you need to take care of the secret generated from the previous command, 6, 5, 8, blah, 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 because you absolutely need to back up this secret. Because if you're going to lose your key, you will have no way of recovering your database if you don't have this secret backup. Keepass XC has a lot of options when it's come to protection of your database. When you create a new database, you will choose the name of your database, and then you can see you have um, a lot of uh, even complex um, options and these options are used to uh, choose the algorithm that will derive the encryption key from your password. And you have a slider here where you can choose how much time you want to need for this algorithm to run because you are usually suggested to choose complex, really complex algorithm made to prevent your database from, from being brute forced because if an attacker needs a lot of seconds just to try one single password, it is very difficult to brute force your archive. But I don't want to spend time in this functionality. I'm just press continue and I'm gonna choose a uh, YubiKey for protecting my archive. So I can choose a password. Usually you will choose a super strong password and you will save this password some in, in somewhere. And usually I'd like to use a mnemonic password, a long password, but that I can remember. This is because this will be the archive that will contain in turn the password I don't want to remember. So I don't want to have some obscure password I need to remember to open my password manager. So I'm using a long password, but it's mnemonic. So I'd like to add an extra layer of protection. 
Thanks to YubiKey, I can add a second factor of authentication in a really simple way. You just need to click the Add Additional Protection button and it will suggest you to add or a key file. A key file is a static file you will usually store in a USB key or somewhere else, but this is not the situation. I have a YubiKey or only key, some key that is programmed as HMAC SHA1 challenge response. So I need to have previously programmed my key as I told you before with that simple command in the ekeyman.exe. If the key is configured correctly, you can just press add challenge response and your key should be already um, identified. You, I have only one key, so I have only one option. So that's the, the key and that it's uh, showing me that the key was indeed configured, the second slot is configured in a way that it's supported by, by my Kepas. I can simply leave this um, key, this, this is the my only key supported choose, and I can press done. And here you are, I've created a new database and it's only asking me where should I save this, um, this database on my disk. After you choose the location on your hard disk, you can just press the YubiKey to confirm you indeed have that YubiKey and the database is saved. Now I've closed the database in uh, Kpass XC, so you can see this is the welcome screen of your Kpass, where um, I've only in my recent list of database, a database that is actually saved on my desktop. So the Kpass archive is only a single file stored on your computer and then you can um, save in some cloud provider and you can save securely because this is encrypted. When you double click the database, Kepas is asking you all the information it needs to generate the encryption key to decrypt the archive. So your password, so this can be your long and mnemonic password. This is an example, so it's, it's really too short, it's six character, but it's a demo. Usually you will choose a mnemonic password really long, and then you need to be sure that you have selected as an hardware key your YubiKey. So you press unblock, you check the password, and then you can touch your YubiKey, and you're ready to go. Your Kepas archive, it's opened. Now, each time you're going to modify your database, uh, as an example, I simply create a new entry, I press OK, and it's going to save your archive, you need to touch your YubiKey. So every operation you are doing that require opening or saving the archive, your password database, requires you to touch the YubiKey to generate the challenge that will use it to encrypt your database. Now, the most important part, test that your backup works. So for this example, I'm going to just delete the second slot. Okay, now deleting the second slot deleted all the information that are used to generate the challenge for Kepas. Now, if you're going to open your database again, you can see that there is no hardware keys detected in the open dialog. So actually, you have no way to recover your database. So it is important to verify that the backup is working. As I told you before, when you generated for the first time the key inside your YubiKey with the dash G option, it will print out the secret seed and you need to save this in somewhere safe. Now I've already uh, copied uh, for this demo in the notepad, so I'm going to reuse this code to recreate the seed for opening my Kepas database. The command is simple. Instead of using the dash G option as uh, I, I highlight in this first command, I'm simply use the child resp dash t number of slot and then I'm specifying the secret I want to use. And it's asking me if I want to program the second slot, I say yes. And if I say ikimen otp info, I have slot to program it again. Now for final verification in my Kepas opening um, in interface, I'm going to type my password and I press refresh to make the software refresh. In A, seeing that the hardware key now has a valid second slot configured. Now to verify that the backup indeed worked and I was able to restore the original seed for my OTP application, I press unlock, I'm touching the key 
and the database is open it. So everything is okay. So which are the pros and cons of this method? Um, yes, surely an advantage is it's an industry standard algorithm. It's not static password as in the previous video. It is a really cryptographic secure algorithm. So you can use um, securely. It is very easy to back up as you can see. Um, you have simply a password, a, 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 a long string that is the seed you need to back up and you can use this seed to restore or to program multiple keys. So you can uh, have uh, more than one keys with the same seed. So you can use more than one key to open your Kepas archive. The problem with this solution is actually, I didn't see a lot of applications that support this algorithm, but honestly, Kepas XC worth the price because uh, it, it is free and devoting your second slot of your YubiKey for Kepas XC is for me the most useful way to use your second slot, even if actually I'm using only with YubiKey. And another downside is you should uh, really back up the seed. So you need to have, you, you have this string you need to back up. So you have another thing to save somewhere just to in the case where every one of your key gets stolen. But usually if you program at least three keys, you can avoid the backup because the solution is if you lose one key and so you remain with only two key for decrypting your database, you can simply buy a third key and simply change the, uh, remove the protection from the KeePass database and then change all the three keys with a new password and re-protect the database, the KeePass database with your um, OTP. Because remember, you can always in KeePass remove the extra protection and save the uh, your um, archive with only the password. But I strongly suggest you to back up the string, store in a secure place. So it is much more simpler to say, I've lost one key, I buy a new key, and I simply use the Ikiman XC to create a, a, a new key that can decrypt your existing database. Thanks for watching and I'm waiting you for the next video in this Ubico series.